Thank you, Alex. Well, as tonight's temperatures continue to drop, there's not only concern for people, but also for pets. Our Randy Escamilla explains why pet owners have a legal responsibility for leaving their dogs outside in the cold. Tonight, the city is concerned about animals being left out in sub-freezing temperatures, so it's taking zero tolerance for pets left out in the cold. Goodness. Maisie is a beagle mix found starving and near death yesterday. No word how long she'd been without food and water, but Animal Care Services tells me Maisie would not have survived through last night's frigid weather. If she had not been brought in yesterday, uh, we firmly believe she would have died. Just since October, Animal Care Services has seized nearly 700 pets who were left without food, water, or shelter. In cold weather like we're now having, you must provide adequate shelter for your pets. San Antonio uh, City Code defines that as three sides, a roof, and a floor so that the pet is protected from the ground underneath. <laughs> On a random drive through this neighborhood, less than a mile from Animal Care Services, we found house after house with dogs outside. ACS says if the weather is uncomfortable for you, then it's probably uncomfortable for your pet too. So if you have a pet and we're concerned that there's a, a risk of hypothermia because it's cold outside, you could potentially be facing anything from citations to seizure of your animal and being charged criminally. So if you leave your pets outside, ACS says make sure they have adequate bedding too. The person who owned Maisie is facing criminal charges. As for Maisie, she's showing signs of improvement and just may make it. Maisie's owner is now looking at felony charges and could spend time behind bars. Bottom line, ACS says if it's cold for you, it's probably too cold for your pet too. At Animal Care Services, I'm Randy Escamilla, Fox News at 9. Well,